Good morning folks. I wanted to shoot so many videos from this beautiful island, Sardinia. But I was too busy with doing nothing. <laughs> and it was awesome. Sorry about that. I'm now for another, yeah, let's say five or six days on the mainland. About 50k south of Rimini on the Adria coast. And yeah, life is good my friends. Most people I know say, okay Mike, you worked hard, you earned it, you deserve it. Have a fun time, I'm happy for you. But there's also those kind of folks saying, Oh, holiday again? I could not do that. I don't have the time. And if I had the time, couldn't afford it. Oh, you're so lucky. Nothing to do with the luck, my friends. Let's say I have now reached a level of happiness that is quite awesome for my expectations but should not forget it took me roughly 50 five zero years to get here the road to happiness is not a sprint it's a marathon. Am I satisfied? Heck no! Satisfaction is a level of perfection that you will never reach. So, what else do I need to get satisfied? Let's start with a bunch of money. But I don't want to work for the money. I want to have it. Let's say I want to win the lottery, a jackpot, some millions, it would be nice. Well, what then? What's next? When you have all the money, you need something else to be satisfied. Let's say big house, sailing yacht, on my case, a tropical island on my own. There's never an end. Satisfaction? I think the moment when you're satisfied is the moment when you die. And there's one thing that I learned in almost three years of not only pandemic, but all kind of crises like, I don't have to tell you, war in Ukraine, energy crisis, all this bullshit. When you dive into this, mentally and emotionally you get sick simple as that and some years ago I was on a coaching from my company it was about conflict and communication and the coach told us a very simple thing and now, during this time of misery, I remind me of that again, and it's very simple and it's ingenious. It's the pyramid of decisions. It's very easy. You can apply this to your entire life. And no matter in what situation you are, it works. Now imagine you are the guy or the girl in the middle of this pyramid. And the middle of this pyramid is your situation, your life. Then on top is love it. On the right angle, change it on the left leave it so 
whatever miserable situation you are or whatever decision you have to make you only have those three choices either you love it the way it is it's perfectly fine if you don't love it try to change it so that you can love it if it's not possible for you to change it leave it let it go either physically or mentally but you have to choose one of those three options if you got stuck in the middle long term you got mental if you get sick or you get angry in Germany we call this Wutbürger angry citizen you know you're angry about your life you're angry about the world angry about politics angry about your neighbors your friends you're angry about everything and everything is responsible for your miserable life anything and anyone but yourself and you're stuck in the middle you don't change anything it doesn't work pick one of those if you can love it if you can change it let it go now for example the corona crisis not now it's a little <laughs> easier now but in the beginning did I love the situation no could I change it no, how? What else could I do? Put on a tinfoil hat, go on crazy demonstration with right-wing extremists? <laughs> Definitely not. So, I had to leave it. And I decided, no more television. No more news, no more radio, just out of my head. Hmm? I do my thing, you do your thing. We're all fine. Nobody's got hurt. Perfect. And this took me very comfortable through, those crisis, uh, through the crisis. I'm very happy. Or well, let's say, in an unhappy relationship. Do you love your relationship? No, you don't. Can you change it? Even if you think you can, you can't. Because you cannot change people. It's not possible. So you gotta let it go. Go away. Don't look back. <laughs> don't look back in anger. It's the only way to keep you sane. Do it. Don't stay in the middle. Okay, last example. Toxic work environment. Or let's say you're not happy at your job. It doesn't have to be toxic. Can you change your situation? You can try. You can talk to the management, apply for better job get promoted get more money if it's not possible go you always find a place where you can work better place don't stay in the middle take decisions and take responsibility for your life live with the consequences of your decisions. <laughs> Sun's coming out very hard. Back to the beginning. People saying, oh, Mike, you're so lucky, I could not do that. What those people forget is that they have much more than I have. And they won't want to have what I have now. You know, I don't have a house. 
I don't have one or two cars. I don't have children, don't have a family. Even my relationship, I'm in a long distance relationship. Not the way, let's say, 100k, no 100k, 100, no, 100 kilometers. No. My girl is living in Italy, I live in Germany. It's about 2000 kilometers. We only see once, when we're lucky, twice a month. That's it. You call me lucky? <laughs> How dare you? You see, what, whatever, whatever you have, it's not enough. But whatever miserable life you think you live, it's a direct, yeah, um, um, consequence of your former decisions. It is what it is. Let's make an extreme example. Hmm? Let's say 17, you dropped off school, went to India in an ashram, came back some years later, no college degree, no profession, nothing. Now you're sitting at the checkout desk at a supermarket. This is your decision. You decided to live that way. If you don't like the situation, change it. Or find some peace. Understand that the decision that you made in the past was necessary and valuable at that moment and it made you grow and now live with it or change it simple as that and i'm quite confident that yeah what i'm telling here not everybody will like it <laughs> but if you think about it if you let it sink in it's logic, it makes sense, and it's easy. It's all about responsibility. So, tell me, what do you think? See you soon. Ciao, ciao.